All right, so today we are talking hurricanes. A lot of times it's talking boats. Today it's how to keep your boat safe in case we do get hit with a hurricane. I got a bunch of tips that you guys need to know. So we're gonna jump in this and I would have a, I would have a notepad and probably write some of these down. If you guys need me to email this to you, typos included, I can actually email this whole thing to you. I just made a quick little thing. Um, and you know, a lot of these tips are provided by insurance companies that we deal with all the time. So first thing, prepping your boat for a hurricane. Uh, make sure you have an organized list. So the easiest thing to do, you know, this is just step one. Everything that I talk about, have a checklist because whenever it's frantic, whenever you're running around crazy and you don't know what to do, or if, you know, if we are, you know, going to get hit, you know, a lot of people, they just panic, they freeze, they don't know what to do, they start acting ridiculous. So be organized, calm down, it'll be okay, it's just a boat. Um, next thing, so number one is your evacuation plan. So this tip is from State Farm, so they say, um, remove everything that's detachable from the boat, canvas, radios, cushions, pretty much anything that you can take out of the boat. You know, you don't want Cindy down the road getting hit with your VHF, you know, that would not be good. So just take everything out that could be affected by the wind and uh, you're going to be good. So, you know, for me, you know, if you can take your electronics out, sometimes they have mounting plates where you can take them off, take them inside. I would do that personally. Um, so yeah, so if you also keep your boat at the marina, make sure you're talking to the company where your boat's at. So for us, if you can't tell, we're obviously a boat storage facility. So we have a lot of boats here and we also do hurricane storage. So for us, you can imagine how many calls that we get whenever there's a hurricane or possibly a hurricane um, going on. So it's very hectic for all the companies, you know, give them the respect, give them a call, try to stay organized. If you do have to pull your boat from the slip, you know, you will know when your time is to come pick your boat up. You're not gonna be sitting in a traffic jam and uh, it's just gonna go a lot smoother because you'll be surprised if this is your first hurricane or potential hurricane, um, how people act. So don't be one of those people. We're trying to be cool with it. So, um, okay, so number two is practice getting your boat out of the water. So if you have to trailer your boat and you're not really familiar with trailering your boat, you know, it's a good idea to practice. So, you know, take it on, take a few laps around the block, drive around, drive where you would actually need to take your boat. So that way you know the plan, the easiest ways to get there, um, you know, and just practice with it. Cause a lot of people, they're just not too good with trailers. They're not good at backing up. Take some time to practice. It's okay. Um, and it's okay to look silly. So go in a parking lot, practice backing it in, you know, do everything. Um, so just be comfortable with your trailer, know how it operates you know, properly tying it down to the trailer, making sure that you're doing the chains on your, on your vehicle, your tail lights, you know, the simple stuff like that goes a long way. So um, that's number two. Now, number three is obviously, you know, uh, gathering all of your documents that you need for your boat. So, you know, just right here. And also, it's also pretty important for you guys to be checking your insurance policy. Now, this has nothing to do with boats, but you also, and this is a little tip for me that I've known in the past, is also check your house insurance, um, your policy. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, their roofs and everything, you know, their deductible is way higher. They didn't know what they even signed up for. So number one, that's a free tip. Smash the like button for Boathouse, not giving just boat tips. Um, and then number two, make sure you just have everything ready you know, all of your documents, take pictures of the boat before, get really good pictures so that way it's a lot easier to prove the damage um, if, you know, something was to happen. So, um, you know, grab your registration, grab titles, you know, any paperwork that involves the boat, put it in a dry bag, a Ziploc gallon bag is what I usually do, and then, uh, you know, you'll be good to go. So just make sure that those are dry, easy to be uh, found, and uh, yeah. So, good photos. Now, that's all the basic stuff. So you wanna prep, you wanna make sure you're organized, make sure you have everything, make sure you're buying your straps for your trailer if you're gonna keep it on the, on the trailer. Um, and we're gonna get into that right now. So number four is, and I'm sure I've already passed number four, but whatever. So this is, I have it labeled, but then I have a lot of stuff in between. So, you know, pardon me, but it's all good info. So turn off the boat's electrical system. So you don't want any electrical charged water if you have to get in there and do stuff. So, you know, remove the battery if you can. And, uh, you know, if you can't do that, you know, make sure all systems are off for sure. Um, again, you don't want any electrical charge. That would not be good. Um, so number five, if you plan to keep your boat in the water, make sure to have at least two anchors. So one off the bow, 
and then one off the stern. And if you can, try to make sure that the lines that are connected to the anchors are 10 times the water depth in case you have storm surge in certain areas. So if you're not in Florida, you know, Louisiana has bad, you know, bad flooding. Um, you know, just, just be precautious. The more line, the better to, you know, as your boat rises, you know, that anchor is coming with it. So you need to make sure you have, uh, you know, these are all worst case scenario things too. So you need to make sure that you're prepared for the worst. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But try to have, you know, your lines 10 times the water depth is what State Farm recommends. So um, that's good. So in powered or inboard powered boats, Make sure you're plugging up your vents, cover the exhaust, you know, just in case you do get that. You don't, you want to try to save the boat as much as possible. You don't want to have to flood the engine if you don't have to. So plug the vents, plug the exhaust, and uh, you know, that's to prevent your motor from flooding. So um, the next thing, and <laughs> that was all number five. So you can see how organized I am today. Smash the like button. Um, number six. So if your boat is on the trailer, take it as far inland as possible. So Boathouse Marine Center, you know, we're about eh, a mile and a half, I would say, give or take from the ocean. So we're very coastal. So if you were our position and you didn't have boat storage, obviously, you know, you would want to be taking it west. So you want to go as far inland as possible. Try to escape, you know, the rough winds that are coming off the coast. So get it in, you know, if you can get a storage unit out, you know, west or whatever, you know, that'll be a good idea. So just try to dodge the wind as much as possible. That's the name of the game is prepare, get it away. If you can completely eliminate the wind, do it. Um, so the next thing, so that's, you know, that's a simple one. That's everybody knows. Not many people know that, but you know, maybe you do. Um, the next thing is tie the boat to the trailer securely. So I talked about making sure you have your straps. It's not a bad thing to overstrap your boat to the trailer. So especially if it's light. So if you have like a little skiff boat or a smaller boat that could be picked up by, you know, extreme winds, you know, that would be a good idea to probably ratchet it down. Um, you know, do your normal straps in the back. You know, if you were to trailer it down the road, make sure you have your back straps um, and just securely do it. So what you feel is secure is maybe not my definition of secure, but you know, make sure that it's secure. A few ratchet straps will go a long way. Um, Place blocks between the tires. That's a simple one. Everybody does that already. But this is a good one is deflate the tires so your boat can't go rolling down the street on you, you know, if it was to, you know, get away from you. So deflate the tires, put blocks in, in between the tires just to be safe. And uh, that's, a, that's a good one. So the next one is depending on the weight of the boat, consider filling up the bilge with water. So if you have a really light boat, you know, it makes a lot of sense to add more weight to it because you're trying to eliminate the boat getting lifted up and sent across the street like Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz. So, you know, this is, um, you know, just fill the, build, fill the bilge up with water. If you need help with that, you know, just look it up online, you know, call the manufacturer, call the dealer and say, how do, what's the best way to fill up the bilge for you? It's very simple, but you know, a lot of people, they just don't know. So a lot of people don't know what a bilge is. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but um, get help if you don't know, but you know, Fill the bilge up with water, make sure the boat is heavy, you know, fill the fish boxes if you can, and uh, just try to secure it to the trailer as best as possible. Um, the next thing is if your boat's on a lift, which a lot of people are around here, so um, this goes for you, try to get it off the lift if you can. So, you know, there's a lot of lift failure, so if there's a lot of rain, there's a lot of extra weight, you know, if the bilge fill, fills up crazy heavy or your, your boat, whatever, anything can happen. Um, you know, so, you know, you want to get the boat off the lift. You don't want to go flying or floating down the stream. Um, and if you have no choice and you got to keep it on the lift, make sure that you're also tying it to your dock. So, you know, if, if for whatever reason you have a cable that breaks and now your boat's in the water, you know, at least it's not going to get off the, and, you know, float away. It'll at least be to the dock. If the, if it gets banged up against the dock, it gets banged up against the dock, but you don't want to put other people in harm's way with your boat if you can prevent it. So make sure you're doing that for your dock and, um, you know, tie the boat up securely. So that's, you know, there's, you know, there's insurance policies to, you know, protect your boat. Yes. But you want to also protect people as well. So, um, especially if they get vicious. Um, so in the last thing, and this is a shameless plug is if you've enjoyed this, if you're tired of doing all of this every single year, Boathouse Marine Center, we actually do hurricane storage. As you can, as you can tell, we actually have 160 boats 
here at all times and then we also have you know our um, you know our hurricane storage so we're filled up on hurricane storage right now but in january and after these hurricanes pass you know you can reserve this for you know the year in advance so um, be one of the first people we usually have a huge waiting list on this but you know first come first serve on that um, and it's a great deal you just bring your boat to us we shove it away keep it inside and it also helps your insurance company, you know, if anything was to happen, it shows that you really took precaution and, you know, you couldn't prevent it and it just happened. So, you know, it's a great thing. And, um, you know, if you go back to last year, you can see how many boats we actually had in storage. I, I did the video. There's a lot of boats. We actually fill up this entire side of the barn and then our other side over there. So, um, you know, these are all great tips provided by State Farm. And if you follow them correctly, you're gonna get a big, you know, blurry smiley face because the camera lens didn't adjust. So, um, thanks for watching everybody. Consider uh, leaving a like on the video if I don't get tongue twisted, I wanna sound professional. And uh, these are all your hurricane tips. If you guys have any that I've missed, please leave them in the comments below for other people. This is a helpful video. These are just the main ones that we see. So make sure that, you know, lend a hand to people if they need it. You know, there is, you know, there's two possible storms out there right now. Um, you know, so we're just trying to prepare you. So if you, if you like the video, leave a comment. If I missed anything, leave a comment and help out other people because they're going to see the video. And uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like at BoathouseMarineCenter.com.